Hey everybody, this is Dave Lee from Hat and Cross Steampunk. Um, I just wanted to do a little short YouTube video um, about a repurposing home decoration item. Uh, we've actually had this in our house for quite some time, but I kind of just finally finished some of the finishing touches of it. And I want to do a short little um, yeah, video to show up, uh, put up on fa uh, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, um, what you could do with some of these cool things you find at flea markets. So. Without further ado, what uh, what I've had here is a Singer sewing machine base and top. Uh, normally, the top would have an opening here where the Singer sewing machine went to, um, but we found it at the flea market like this: no top, or uh, no hole in the top, no sewing machine, just the top and the cast iron base. So I wanted to use it as a TV stand, which you can clearly see is this being done. But what we did was, real quick and easy, is I've added a shelf basically here, and I dropped the shelf down. Uh, it's being suspended by these bolts, and then to spruce it up a little bit, I took a piece of copper pipe to cover the bolts. As you can see, I, I don't know, I measured pretty jacked up. So I'll have to come back here and cut the, the excess length of the bolts down. But And I used a, um, a lock nut, so it has like a plastic bushing inside, so it won't come loose and come undone. Because most people have, you know, at best one device here, DVD player, um, or satellite receiver, whatever. So, um, and if I had a second device that wasn't too tall, I could probably get that on top of that. So, anyway, just kind of a quick video to show um, that... You can have fun with one of these old things uh, at, you, know, you find pretty inexpensive at a flea market and repurpose and use. Cheers. So there you go. It's uh, all put on. TV sitting on top. Uh, another thing you can do with TVs um, is if you go to a thrift shop flea market and find a kind of gaudy old um, picture frame. It's, I find it, at least in ours quite a few. Um, I've got to find one now that's big enough to make a picture frame to go around this. Uh, an example would be what I did on my iMac here. So it's a simple matter of, you know, if you had the, the tools, of course, to cut it, but, you know, saw to cut that 45 degree angle because ideally you'll find one slightly bigger than your, your TV. Um, and then it's a matter of, um, is there infrared features or not features but a receiver that you would be blocking so you have to be you know conscientious about that my tv has speakers here and here but uh all in all you know it's a relatively inexpensive um flea market item that uh it's kind of cool i think the copper pipes are nice um i did put a coat of uh satin polyurethane over top of the copper so that it won't I won't have to be polishing this, you know, um, but and eventually I'll have to come up with a, a better way to manage the cables and hide them. So, but yeah, so Dave Lee from Matt Cross Steampunk. Cheers.